today it's an update video. More or less, I just wanted to show you, this, you know, all the stuff I have done in my garden so far, you know, what has been a success and what has not been a success. I've got lots of cat shit in the garden. The idea of putting my cannas and my red bananas together with some sunflowers was nice and it looks okay-ish, but, you know, the sunflowers kind of took over. Let me show you. So this is what it looks now. And you see some cannas peppered in, in and amongst and the red banana uh, over there and there's a few other ones over there. But I must say, in my head, I had a different vision for it. And one thing I also have to say, this is the first year that I really haven't been around that much because I do have a proper job, you know, and I haven't watered. And it's been kind of like, the weather's been psychotic. It's been 35 degrees one day and over 750 degrees the next day. And they keep on saying it rains a lot, but it hasn't really rained at all. So I should have watered more, but I didn't because I wasn't here. And also, maybe I just spread too much seed for the tomatoes. No, not for the tomatoes, for the sunflowers. But anyway, so what I'm going to do next year, I'm going to have lots of sunflowers around next year as well, but I'm going to put the cannas back into the coffin back there. That's not the coffin, back into the diamond back there, or maybe in the coffin. What was a huge success, I have to say, is my canna Cleopatra. I dumped that in a pot. Again, you know, it was just a, you know, a bunch of big rhizome. And look at it now. That really looks amazing and the flowers are starting to come out yeah there's another can of which is quite doing quite well in the pot in the pot there you go that can is also doing quite well that is a hosta which has been ravaged by fucking snails for some reason this year maybe the snails are particularly bad but like all my hostas look like shit and yeah ooh, what has been a tremendous success is my tomatoes absolutely love them look at this look at them tomatoes and also when you go in closer you can see there is a plethora of fruit coming up really super happy okay some look a bit shit but that one and you know they're starting to ripen a tremendous success however when i planted the tomatoes i had this wonderful idea of attaching a rope to the beam up there and then through the drainage holes in the pot and then the idea was that you just like, so you know rope around the tomato as it grows well numb nuts use the wrong fucking rope and basically after three or four weeks you could just pull the rope out of the soil because it was rotten so what I'm doing right now <laughs> is as they grow I just keep on attaching more rope to it and more rope up there and there and it is just Honestly, these are turning out to be like S&M tomatoes or bondage tomatoes. Trust me, there is more rope on the, on the tomatoes than we have in our sex room or chamber where we do things, bad things. But yeah, so if you ever have that idea or if you ever want to do that whole thing with like, exuding through the drainage holes and blah, 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 use a rope that doesn't rot. Use plastic or use something that doesn't rot. Other than that, loving my tomatoes. And yeah, what next? Ooh, bananas. Washing in the background, a domesticated person. Actually, Jane did that. And yeah, look at my tomatoes. Look at my bananas, not tomatoes. So they're doing well. Really pleased with that. Again, they probably could have done a little bit better if I would have watered more. We can have it all. I mean, the rest of the garden looks really, looks quite good. What I'm absolutely amazed about is my miscanthus. I haven't really done anything at all with them for the past two years. I think I split them about three years ago. This is like five of them. And they look absolutely incredible. And that's one thing I'm going to do next year. I'm going to split quite a few of them. And then I more or less want to have that because I think, you know, look at that. I think they look like clouds or big cushions. You know, you just want to throw yourself into them. Well, it'd be fucking painful if you would do that. But anyway, oh, you want to do And this was really was just a quick, not a tour of my garden. It's just, you know, what has been a success, what hasn't been a success. Again, the whole sunflower thing, I love the idea of having all these sunflowers, but I'm not going to be mixing the canners in. Not something I would repeat. I look like I've got no hair. Look at that. See, this is better. I should film like this. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Just a quickie and I shall talk to you guys later. Bye.